Hi all, we're back again uh, doing some remote learning um, for our second week. We're going to carry on where we left off uh, last week by looking at equations of straight lines. But actually, rather than looking in this form, y equals mx plus c, we're going to have a look at what happens if a line is given in a slightly different format and we have to find out the information here, that gradient and the intercept in our y equals mx plus c. We have to think about this slightly differently, but we can start from the same point we did last week with a table. So looking at this equation, we've got 2x plus y equals 4. This means that double the x coordinate plus the y coordinate is going to give me 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a table. I've picked three coordinates already, negative 2, 0 and 1, just to see what we're dealing with. A positive, a negative and then that 0 to see what happens either side. And then all I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier for myself is almost add an extra row of 2x. If I double this x, I get negative 4, 0 and 2. To get this y coordinate, what I've then got to think about is what do I need to add to that thing to make 4. So negative 4 plus something is going to give me 4 for this first coordinate, that negative 4 coming from here. So negative 4 plus what makes 4? Well what we can do is pop this y in here and solve it like an equation. So y equals by adding 4 to both sides, 8. For this 0, I'm going to have 0 plus y is equal to 4, so y must be 4. And then in this last one, I have got 2 plus y is going to give me 4. So again, y must be 2 by taking 2 off each side. I've then got coordinates that I can plot on my graph. So I'm going to negative 2 then up to 8, 0 to 4, 1 to 2, and then I can join those up. When I have joined these points up, I can just continue the line. It's not going to be a massive hardship to do that. We don't need any more coordinates. That line will just carry on in that pattern because we know it is a straight line. There's a few ways we can tackle this now to try and find this in the form y equals mx plus c. But we're going to need a little bit more room, so that's what we're going to do here. So there is our line and our coordinates that we've just drawn, already pre-done for us. What we're going to do now is bring this into the form y equals mx plus c. There's a few different ways we can do this. I'm going to start by doing it the way um, that we can use in our graph which we're used to and then we'll do it with a little bit of algebra so using the graph is method one so the graph is method one so we've drawn this already and we know for y equals mx plus c we need a gradient so i'm going to start by drawing myself a triangle somewhere here and actually i'm going to use the points that i've already got so i know that i'm going from eight to two so negative six and I'm going 3 across, so my gradient is negative 6 over 3, or negative 2. And I know my C because this bit is my y-intercept. So my graph is of the form y equals minus 2x from this m and plus 4, or y equals 4 minus 2x. The second method I can do is just to try and change the subject. So method number two is to change the subject. Because actually what I want is it to be y equals. That's what it means to change the subject. So changing the subject to y means just altering and moving things around in this equation. So if I want this y by itself, I need to get rid of this positive 2x. We don't necessarily always write that in, but this is a plus or positive 2x. That means to get rid of it, what I need to do is take 2x from both sides. So y equals 4 minus 2x 
which is exactly what we had here. Or I can reverse everything around and have minus 2x plus 4. And that tells me that my gradient is minus 2 and my y-intercept is 4, just like we had on the graph to begin with. Okay. We're going to have a look at another one which isn't actually on your slides. So if you want to have a go now, what I would do is give this a pause and try it before I start. Okay, I'm hoping you've already had a go. So we're going to do the same process as we did earlier, only this time things are a little bit different. I've got x plus 2y is 10. So this time it's the y that's changed. So I'm going to pop 2y in as an extra row on my table. If I substitute in, in this section, I get minus 2 plus 2y is equal to 10. That means that 2y is equal to 12. So if 2y is 12, that means that y must be 6. If I substitute in this 0, I get 0 plus 2y is 10. So 2y equals 10. And then that therefore means that we must get a 5 here. And then if I substitute in 4 for x, then I end up with 4 plus 2y is equal to 10, or 2y is equal to 6 if I take 4 from both sides. And then that means that y must be 3. I'm going to plot those coordinates just so we can see that on the graph. I've got negative 2 and I'm going up to 6, 0 going up to 5, 4 going up to 3. So my line looks something like this. It then asks us to write this in the form y equals mx plus c. So let's use those two different methods again. So to start off with, I'm going to be looking at drawing myself a triangle here. I'm going from 6 down to 3, so this is negative 3. And I'm going across 3, 4, 5, 6. So my gradient is negative 3 over 6, or negative 1 half. And like before, we're quite lucky because we picked this 0 coordinate for x, but we now know that c is going to be that 5. So my equation of my line in the form y equals mx plus c is y equals negative 1 half of x plus 5. I'm also going to do this by complete, uh, not by completing the square, but by changing the subject. So if I was to do this by changing the subject, I want that y to be by itself. For that y to be by itself, all I'm going to do is take x off both sides. So that means 2y equals 10 minus x. And then to divide everything through by 2. It's important that we remember to divide everything by 2 at this point because that's going to get us y equals 5 minus x over 2 which is actually perfectly equivalent to this y equals minus 1 half x because of this minus and the over 2 plus 5. So your gradient is minus 1 half and the intercept is plus 5. All that's left for you to do now is to have a look at the Hegarty clip, which is number 217 today. Make sure you've got that quiz sorted over 70% to make sure you know what you're doing. And as always, give us an email if you need any help. Stay safe.